I'm going to show you how to authenticate and log in the user. So, so let me just say returns. Credentials are correct. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new variable called user and we actually want to call authenticate. So this is going to take two pieces of information, keyword arguments, and we're going to pass in their username. And for the password, we'll just pass in this password variable. So essentially what this function does is it takes a username and password and it checks in the database to see if they are an actual user to see if they exist. So what we can do now is we can check to make sure that we actually got a user back. You can say user is not none. Then this is what we're going to do. So again, whenever you run this function, if it's authenticated, then it's going to take that user and return it as the user variable right here. So now this should be equal to Bucky or admin or whoever. So we need to check one more thing. And this is kind of weird, but basically what Django lets you do is they let you have users in here that you can either like ban or make inactive. Maybe someone just acting up and you didn't want to delete their entire account. So you just disable their account. So you need to check for that as well before they log in. So if user is active, then this means that, all right, their account didn't get banned. And of course they logged in proper password. The user exists. So how do you actually log them in and attach a session? Well, it's really easy. You just pass in request and user. That's it. That is all you need to do. They are now logged into your website. So you can actually now refer to them is request dot user. And again, don't write this actually, but later on, whenever you want to print out their username or something, then you would just write request.user.username, request.user.profile photo, whatever information you have about them. And check this out. So they're now logged in and you can now refer to them that way. But after they log in, I'm actually going to want to redirect them to the home page because if they just log in and hit submit and then <laughs> it just shows them a blank form, then they're probably going to be like, uh, am I logged in or did I press the right thing or what? So in order to do that, you just write return, redirect, and the URL, which is music index, boom roasted. So if this is true and they submitted the form properly, then hopefully they log in and get redirected right there. But if they didn't, then what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to say, okay, try again. So. All right, so I'm just going to return render request self template form form. Let me make sure this isn't the proper thing. All right, so again, if they didn't log in or if their account is banned or whatever, then we're just going to say, all right, you know what? Here's a blank form for you. So now the last two things we need to do is we actually need to give this a URL and I'm just going to have it where if they go to register, um, then this is going to pop up. You can name it like create an account or whatever you want, but let me just copy this. All right. So my regular expression is going to be register and user form view and get rid of this and I'll just name it register. All right, looking good. And we also need to create this registration form, HTML template real quick. And I'm probably just gonna steal one from somewhere else. So right click, new HTML file, registration form. Let's steal it from album form. So copy that. Paste it right in there and let me just change the title. So get rid of this and instead of add a new album, I'll just say register. And for the heading, I'll just say create a new account. Now capitalize new, whatevs. All right. 
So now if we go to register, then we're getting an error because I messed up my regular expression. <laughs> all right, so all right, the carrot goes at the beginning. Bucky, you fool. And okay, hopefully, boom roast, there we go. All right, so create a new account and let me pop open this admin section two. So admin users, we don't have any other users. So check it out. So this right here, the reason that this is pre-populated is this is actually just Google Chrome. So it has nothing to do with Django. This is just Chrome's default because I said save password like a fool. So the username can be um, bacon buddy. And I'll just say bacon22 at gmail.com password pass one, two, three, four. So now whenever I submit, Check it out, it logs me in and it redirects me to the homepage. Now this is probably gonna log me out right here. All right, so the reason that whenever you go to the admin, you're logged out is because you're actually now logged in as Bacon Buddy. So if I just log back in as admin, let me close out here. Log back in as admin, look at my users. I see that I now have a new user called Bacon Buddy and here's all of their information. So there you go. So that is, after a quite a long tutorial, how you create new users, how you let them register, and also log in to your Django website. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a break. I'm gonna watch a hockey game. The Pittsburgh Penguins, they better win. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you later.